With no time to waste, Rachel and Kirsty darted out, grabbed two of the extra Goblin uniforms and ducked back behind the stairs. They quickly changed into the green outfit, including pom-poms. When they were both dressed, they turned to face Carmen. What do you think? Kirsty asked the little fairy. Carmen winked. You are the best-looking Goblin cheerleaders I have ever seen. Now go get them, she pointed to where the Goblin squad were gathering. They were about to take stage. Rachel squeezed Kirsty's hand, then took a deep breath. Together, the two friends joined the group of goblins, elbowing and jostling along with the others in order to fit in. Look, Kirsty whispered as they all climbed on stage. The goblin leading the way has Carmen's magic microphone. Rachel nodded, feeling more confident. Now that the megaphone was so close by, do not let him out of your sight. The girls stepped on the stage, following the goblin's lead, as they jumped around excitedly, rousing the crowd. Everyone in the audience clapped and cheered as the goblins took their places. Rachel and Christy stood near the back of the stage. They copied the goblin's movement as the cheerleader's voice boomed through the magic megaphone. We are green, we are mean, we are a top-notch team. The routine went on and the girls followed along, and the, all the while they kept an eye on Carmen who sat on the rafters above the stage. Suddenly, the little fairy waved her wand and sent a tiny stream of sparkles into the air. That was their cue. Before the goblins knew it, knew what that what was happening, Christy was doing a perfect tumbling pass across the stage. She turned a series of cartwheels and handsprings until she reached the goblin with the megaphone. Then she snatched it out of his hand as she tumbled by. Without hesitating, Christy held the megaphone to her mouth and started a cheer. We've got a spirit, yes we do. We've got a spirit, how about you? The goblins all froze, looking at one another in confusion. Just then, Rachel stepped to the front of the stage and began cheering along with Trusty, waving her pom-poms in the air. The goblins shouted and followed along, trying to act like they knew what was going on, exactly as the girls had hoped. They would. Trusty continued and Rachel gathered a group of goblins to set up a busted toss. They quickly got into formation when Trusty was done with her cheer. The goblins lifted her up and tossed her into the air. As Trusty sailed up into the air, a flash of light flickered overhead. Carmen, the tiny fairy, darted to Trusty and grabbed the magic megaphone from her hand. As soon as she touched it, the megaphone shrank back to fairy size. Carmen screwed with delight and fluttered away before anyone could spot her. The goblins easily caught Trusty and set her back down on the stage. No one even seemed to notice that the that she no longer had the megaphone. They worked their way through the rest of the routine and finished to a huge round of applause from the audience. Grinning from big ear to big ear, the goblins ran off the stage with Rachel and Trusty trailing after them. Jack Frost was waiting at the bottom of the stage. Not bad, not bad, he said. Now give me that megaphone for safe keeping. The goblins looked around at one another, holding up empty hands. I do not have it. I thought you had it. Who had it last? Um, it wasn't me. Rachel and Trusty stood back watching 
carefully as the goblins scrambled to cover up their mistakes. But Jack Frost was not amused. You fools, he thundered. Do you mean to tell me you lost the magic megaphone?